everybody. We're here at the historical Canadian Labour Congress Ontario Federation of Labour Summit on Pensions because we have a pension plan in Canada that is probably one of the best pension plans around but it has been in existence for over 50 years and it hasn't changed. So we're in a situation where we're getting people are getting a public pension but it's not allowing them to live and retire in dignity. So doubling the CPP and also increasing the GIS and OAS by 15%. What that will do is allow our young people, particularly our young people, to retire in dignity and to have enough money so that they can live in dignity other, rather than living in poverty, as is currently the case. We also want to understand that in this day and age, it's workers of color, it's women, it's young people, it's Aboriginal workers that are working in precarious type situations where they don't have a pension, they don't have a public pension. So that's the reason that it's important to build on the Canada Pension Plan because it's something that affects and that we all pay into whether we belong to a union or not. Doubling of the CPP will allow workers of colour, will allow women, will allow Aboriginal workers and our young people to retire in dignity and have the life that they have worked to, to, to benefit from. It allows, it allows our retirees who have built this country, who have built our manufacturing sector, who have built our public sector to also retire in dignity rather than to see the work that they've done just you know be disregarded once they hit that retirement age. So the whole issue of pensions is important to every single one of us and we need to start taking a, a stand and making sure that we educate ourselves but we also call on governments, every single level of government to understand what this will mean, what this will mean for us, what this will mean for our unions, what this will mean for our children and what this will mean for our country.